What is going on guys, Mitsubar Barr coming back to yet another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing an updated station tour as well of a barbershop tour that I'm gonna be doing towards the end of the video. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Alright, so first things first, here we got my cape. Uh, I got this cape off of illusion.com. Um, they were having a sale, so I decided why not. I love the look of it. It's a blue face. And then under that, we have the red chairs that everyone else has. Um, hooked onto this, we also have just a mirror that's hooked on by a hook. Um, and then the headpiece for the chair, I leave it right up there. Um, and then we got the mirror right here I have um, a suction cup mount that's why I put my camera for all the um, tutorials that I do and then uh, we have these LED lights I forget what they're called I think they're called light bars um, I got both of these on Amazon I think I got both for $80 which was a good deal um, they're super bright they're not even to the max right now um, they help for better pictures and also when you're cutting you know you could see the haircut better up here we have my certificates so these two are just the barber side um, you know sanitary test things that I did and then up here I have my barber certificate and then right there I have my educator certificate so if you guys didn't know your boy is a certified educator all right so let's bring it up here oh, it's kind of a mess I have um, some talc powder what is this this is some Cantu curling cream a sponge some oil sheen gel you know all the basic stuff we have some business cards right here um, you know the product some lotion for when my hands get dry um, over here we have a neck duster that is the charger for my slimline enhancements um, I did a video on this one um, it's like a like the automatic enhancement gun, whatever. I, s I paid like $80 for it because I was too cheap to buy the Tomb 45 one, but it broke on me, it doesn't even work. Like I barely used it and it doesn't work. Like nothing happened, I didn't drop it or anything, it just stopped working. So uh, if I were you guys, just get the Tomb 45 one. It's a little more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Right here we have the, um, just some hand sanitizer, some cool care some andis clipper oil we have um, some neck strips here i have a jar where i put my empty razor blades and then we have a barberside jar with um, some barberside inside it you put your combs in that after every haircut you let them sit about five to ten minutes so that it dis disinfects them you got to make sure that you don't leave your combs in there because it'll mess them up like i've messed up like a few combs just because i forgot them in there and then they came out all soft so watch out for that and then I have the wall premium guards with the half guard and the one and a half. And then down here, this is just my camera light charging. We have um, just a Supreme barber mat. I have the square for when I wanna, when clients wanna pay um, by card. And then oh, over here I have um, the alcohol and water spray bottle. I have a tripod. That is my case for when I do house calls. I barely do any, but you know, it's good to have. And then right here we have um, my barber apron. Everyone in the shop has um, these same ones. Um, they're just leather, premium leather barber aprons. Um, and then I have my hair clips right there. Coming down over here, I have all my combs. So I have a brush, two brushes, flat top comb, pick, um, you know, wide tooth comb, clipper over comb comb. You know, we have everything we need. We have some business cards. In here, I have my shears. So my two main ones are these thinning shears. And then for my like normal shears, I have, I use seven inch shears. I don't know, I just got used to using those and never, you know, switched back. I have just a plain blade holder for to use a straight blade. And then, you know, I just have the graveyard over there for my dryer what is this i think it's a conair 
no it's tresemme it's rubbing off i don't know i got this super cheap i think it was about like 30 bucks um because my other one died i have to buy a new one i'm thinking of getting the dyson one but i don't know because it's kind of expensive but it's an investment so sometime soon you guys will be seeing that on the channel and then over here we have the clipper armoire as you guys can tell i like to keep this clean i don't like having a bunch of stuff on you know my station so usually i'll put my clippers down here and in the middle of cuts i'll set them down here but for the most part i like to keep this as clean as possible so here we have the baby Lewis shaver um, I just recently had to change the head because I there was a hole in it and I couldn't find the gold one So I have a silver one. It looks kind of weird, but I don't know. I don't mind it and then I have um, the Babyless skeleton trimmers uh, I got these a while ago probably about like two years ago You guys can see the paints like chipping on it. So I went and bought myself a second one I forget whose this is. I think it's Los cut it like his signature one not sure though um, i have a slimline with the regular slimline blade i skeleton i skeleton these so i just cut the top part off it doesn't make much of a difference but i just like using it better like that and it also looks a little cooler next up we have my wall seniors these are my go-to's i love the seniors i'm thinking of getting myself a second pair because when these die is when i go to my magic clips but you know after using the senior it's just not the same going back to the magic clip so i think i'm gonna get myself another pair of seniors and then retire these two but uh for the magic clips regular magic clip supreme grip on it and then this one i have a ceramic blade um honestly i don't really enjoy using a ceramic blade it's different but i'd rather cut with a regular blade and right here i just have like one of those brushes to brush off my clippers going down here we have my extra capes these I never use. I have my red Supreme one and then I have a Burberry one down there. In this last drawer, nothing special, just you know, some extra alcohol, barberside, some extra boxes, some neck strips. Nothing special in here. Alright, so that's pretty much it for my station. Nothing special. Um, but it gets the job done. So now I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the barber shop. So, this is my station right here in this corner. We have a sink, we have some hangers, plant. So you walk in over here, you know, COVID time, so we gotta sanitize our hands. And then we have um, four stations. The boss's station is in the back. You guys could see all his certifications with all of his stuff. And then we have this is where the students come and practice so you see they have their mannequins here they put their stuff there and then when they come um, to doing live heads live he the live clients will sit there but for now they're using the mannequins so we have a sink um, waiting area and then we have a shampoo chair we have um, the towel warmer all these towels and then just some extra mannequin heads over here we have the supply store area if you guys didn't know um, we're also a supply store so here is where all the products are have a fridge some snacks and then over here we have the bathroom nothing special in there two tvs the boss's station but yeah that's the shop honestly i like this shop a lot more than what it like the last one we had the last one was just longer and like slimmer whereas this one is just more of like a square and we use more of the space it's more of like an open concept but i like it a lot more let me know what you guys think if you guys look in my um older videos you guys will be able to see what that other shop was looking like i also did another station tour but you know my my station has upgraded a lot since then i think it's about a year or two ago but uh, yeah, all right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I gave you guys a little tour of my station and the barber shop. Let me know what you guys think of my station. If you guys would add anything, if you guys would, uh, you know, change anything, let me know down in the comments down below. If you guys are new here, click that subscribe button. I do everything barber related content. So, you know, haircut tutorials, clipper unboxings, clipper reviews, all that jazz. You know, hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the channel. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.